So, you're getting a 3D printer. You're super excited. You've told everyone you work with, you've told your neighbor, you've told some guy in the store you just met, you told the people at church that you don't normally talk to. It's awesome. What do you do until then? You can only look at thing of her so long. And there's actually some things that you can do while you're waiting for your 3D printer. My name is Warren, and this is Warren Prince. So yes, I'm getting a 3D printer. I am incredibly excited about it. It's going to be fantastic. I got all these plans of things I want to make, uh, design, stuff I want to learn. I want to try and push the limits of what it can do and of what I'm capable of. I can't wait to learn more. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be learning about 3D printing and I want to share this journey with you guys. I'm hoping that uh, the stuff I can learn, I'm going to pass on to you and maybe you guys can use it for whatever you want to be printing yourselves. So today I'm just going to be talking quickly about the things you can do while your printer is on its way. You could just take it out of the box, plug it into the wall, set it down on the kitchen floor and see how long that lasts. I'm betting it's not going to last too long. So what you can be doing while you're waiting for your 3D printer to arrive is you can start getting an area set up. There's a couple basic things that you can do to prepare to make your 3D printing space work a lot better for you. There's a couple considerations you have to take into account when you're thinking of where you want to set up your 3D printer. First of all, what are you going to be printing? If you're just going to be printing some PLA, um, you don't have to worry as much about placement. Just keep it away from any air current essentially. But if you're going to be printing with other materials, which I plan to be, um, some of them can get pretty smelly. So you don't want it in one of the main rooms of your house. Obviously, if you don't have the space, you're gonna to have to put it wherever it fits. Uh, I'm fortunate enough that we had this room in the basement that was for storage. Um, this used to be all shelving that just had stuff. So I've been able to repurpose it and I'm hoping it'll work out well for me. A couple of the things that I did, which you can't really see, are power. I wanted to make sure I had enough power to run my printer and whatever other accessories I had over here. Uh, I didn't want to be starting up, get everything plugged in, get everything running, and then find out that the breaker I'm using has four other things on it and have it keep shutting off on me. Because I really don't want to have power failures while I'm in the middle of a print. So now I have a dedicated line brought over here and that way I know everything's alright. So yeah, this used to be shelving. This is where we had uh, just some odds and sods that we kept on the shelf here. And I was able to relocate the stuff, you know, actually tidy up what I had. And I had this space. So what I did is I put a countertop on it, uh, made sure it was big enough to fit my printer. I'm getting a fairly good sized printer. It's going to be printing uh, 12 by 12 inches by 11 inches high, I believe. And so I need a little bit of space for that. In order to deal with the fumes, I put in a little uh, exhaust fan here. So it just vents outside so I don't have to worry about the fumes. I want to be printing all different types of materials. Um, not just the regular PLA and ABS. I'm planning on going all the way to uh, nylons and peaks and polycarbonates. I want to try and print with all these and one of the best ways to get the full strength out of it is to anneal it. So I got myself a little annealing oven. Uh, I need to do a little bit of work to it so I can maybe make a video about that later. So these are all the things that I've been able to gather up to get ready for my printer. So to all of you guys that already have a 3D printer and are doing awesome things with it, I'm so excited to finally join the ranks of you guys. Uh, there's a couple guys on the internet that I watch quite a bit on YouTube. I think their shows are fantastic. And as we get later on, I'm going to start putting links and mentioning those guys and what they do. Um, I can't wait. I am just so excited to be getting a printer. Uh, I got so many things in my head that I want to get out in the real world and see what I can do and build and create. 
it's going to be a really exciting time and I kind of looking forward to bringing you guys along with me. So as a YouTube mantra goes, subscribe to me. Push that little button down there. Or maybe it's there. I don't know. I'm pretty new to YouTube. It's going to be around here somewhere. Subscribe to me. Hit the little notification bell. And as soon as I get my next one out, that's when I have my printer, yeah, uh, then you'll be able to see what kind of foolishness I get to then. Leave a comment. I'm really curious to see what everyone's thinking out in the world. Um, what they have to say about 3D printers. Uh, what they think I can maybe do better to bring you uh, a better quality of production. Uh, I'm learning all this as I go, so this is about going to be the worst as it gets here, and hopefully it'll just get better. And also, please share. If you know someone that's thinking about getting a printer or just got a printer, uh, send a quick link to this video over to them, and then we can kind of get a community together that's learning. And if we can all get together, and if we can all be learning and sharing and adding comments, uh, we're going to be able to learn so much more, so much faster. Thanks for joining me on this adventure. And uh, while you go, I'll leave you with one more video of uh, me doing a horrible heel kick. Thanks a lot.